Ho ho ho. No. As suggested by Matt M on the previous payload tier list video, where I put the payloads in a tier list for how good they are in terms of rollouts, we're now doing a tier list for these payloads based on their visuals. Now this is obvious to some, but do keep in mind that this is my opinion of the visuals, and so it may not match yours entirely or even at all. We're doing this in the reverse alphabetical order, starting us off with Watchpoint Gibraltar. The shuttle payload of Gibraltar has a very sleek design and takes a futuristic approach of the design from the shuttles of the space race era. I'm a big nut for that sort of thing, and so this one goes way, way up to the top of the list. I absolutely love space. The Route 66 payload has a basic design. It isn't unpleasant to look at per se, but it does look a little out of place on Route 66. I do like the fact that it reminds me of some of the vehicles from Halo though, so I'm placing it smack bang in the middle in the B tier. Now over to Rialto. The Rialto payload is, well, there's not many other ways to put it. It, it. It's ugly. It's ugly, okay? It reminds me of my old construction job, and that is not a good thing, so it's thrown down to the D tier on this list. Next up here is Nimbani. The payload design is futuristic and sleek, but simple. Too simple to the point where it kind of looks boring to me. It used to be a lot cooler before, where this payload used to hold the Doomfist gauntlet, and you were escorting that gauntlet to the museum. But when they introduced Doomfist, in the lore, Doomfist stole it, and so it left the payload looking pretty dry. So I'm placing this one in the C tier. Another lore field payload is that of King's Row. Now many don't know this, but it's kind of dark when you think about it. King's Row is a town strongly against Omnic Rites, and this payload is actually a giant EMP, which you are delivering to the end of the map to detonate. It does look very cool, and becomes even cooler when you consider the lore. This payload sits high and mighty in the A tier, and evenly spread first five of this list, but now over to Junkertown. The Junkertown payload has lore that isn't too difficult to figure out. Shown in Blizzard's The Plan Overwatch short, this payload is a gold mound booby trap for the Junker Queen. And though this is cool, it isn't much to look at. It matches the rest of the town in being pretty poorly put together, and with a messy but fitting design, I'll be placing it in the C tier. The payload of Hollywood is a limousine that you use to escort Halfred Glitchbot, an Omnic filmmaker in the Overwatch world who makes witty comments as you escort them through the map. And though I love cars with all my heart, I've never been all too fond of limousine designs. But this one is pretty sleek, so with that considered, I'll put it very reasonably in the A tier. Staying on the topic with cars, the Havana payload, which I mentioned to be based on a Willy's pickup truck in the last tier list video, it's very pleasing to look at. Not only is the truck payload itself very nice, but aesthetically it fits with the map very well, along with actual vehicles you'd find in Cuba. And I've thought this ever since we got that first look at it back in the Storm Rising mission. This payload gets an easy S tier from me. I'm obviously biased toward the car based payloads, but let's move to quite the opposite of that now, on Eichenwald. Eichenwald's payload doesn't exactly resemble a car, but instead a modernized medieval siege machine, the Battering Ram. This payload design is excellent, and I'm really fond of how the actual mechanisms of the Battering Ram move as you knock down the castle door heading into phase 3. The A tier is reasonable for this payload for me, as it's really awesome, but it's not quite a Ford F-150. Now onto another real world car based payload, Dorado. Based on another American pickup truck, this time made by a now defunct manufacturer, Mercury Automobiles, which went defunct back in 2011, founded by the son of Henry Ford, the fellow who made Ford way back in 1903, but guys, this isn't a cars lesson, this is about the payload. I think even Blizzard's take on this truck is still very charming to look at. It isn't quite as shaped as the Mercury, and it has a more modernized slash restored look about it. It's very pretty to me and gets yet again, you guessed it, the S tier. Now moving from a high to a low, as we round out our final candidate, Blizzard World. The Blizzard World payload looks dumb. It's got a dumb flat part at the front, an ugly profile, a stupid shape at the back, and holds jewellery in it which is almost certainly fake and for display purposes only. So an easy D tier for this final payload, which ends this video on a disappointment which I won't make you bear any longer. So thank you very much for watching, make sure you leave suggestions down below for video ideas, slash channel updates that you'd like to see, and I'll be sure to see you all in the next video. Peace.